Hey there, Soul Shites, it's Michelle here, and it is Things We're Making Thursday, Things We're Making Thursday, Things We're Making Thursday, yeah. Things We're Making Thursday, Things We're Making Thursday, Things We're Making Thursday, yeah. It's been May. Today is the last Thursday in May. Is that crazy or what? Like, seriously, it has been six months since my birthday. My birthday is December 1st, so my sixth month anniversary is Saturday. Uh, it's weird. It's very weird. Anyway, um, I'm really excited about my finished project. I think it turned out amazing. I've actually really loved the stitch with this fabric. I have not tried it out because I wanted to show it to you before I used it. Um, but, so I made a knitted dish dishcloth and I sh showcased that a couple weeks ago. I used one weight cotton yarn, just some yarn I got from Hobie a while back. And um, I actually really enjoy using the dishcloth. I would like to do a stockinette stitch to see if um, we'd like that even more. But this time I did a crochet one because I wanted to see how the crochet is. And my daughter is, she's like, I would wear a sweater in that. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, yeah, it would be really pretty, but do you know how long it would take to crochet a sweater with one white cotton? Yeah, okay, anyway. Here's the finished dishcloth. It's got, so it's very fascinating because it hardly stretches one direction. It stretches a lot this way, stretches a lot this way. Let's see, this is the one where it doesn't. This is the one where it stretches a lot. Um, because this is actually, it's worked in rows, like starting at one corner, working back and forth this way. And so that direction, it doesn't stretch this way, but the other direction stretches tons and then the side to sides um, of the square the stretch quite a bit too. So it's really fun. Um, the Basically the pattern is a single crochet chain one and then when you come across the other, you're putting your single crochets inside of the chain. I cannot remember the name of that stitch, but I will link the pattern to this stitch cloth down below. And um, I'll also knit, link a knitted dish cloth pattern that I found did not follow it per se. This time I have followed it in the past. Anyway, so I'm really excited about this. I love the fabric of it and I can totally see why my daughter's like, I want a sweater made in that. Because even if you did it on the rose like this, it's still a really pretty fun texture for, that would make a really fun sweater. Um, but yeah, I'm not doing that for her. It'd also make a cute bag, but you'd have to be I think you'd have to make sure that you did your rows going this way so the bag didn't stretch out a lot this way um, because if you because like I said it stretches a lot like this and like this and that other direction um, so one of the things to watch out for crochet is you know play around with it what ways does it stretch and can you use the least stretchy method in making your things so I am not sure how this will go. I will let you know on its efficiency as a dishcloth um, next week. Um, so it is the end of May. If you have, uh, if you are not a content creator, you do not make videos, but you would like to showcase your um, projects, please, please, please send them to me or any of the other content creators. We would love to put them in. Um, follow the hashtag TWMT um, to watch other videos from this. Thank you to Jess at Jayhook Magic for the, the so theme song. Um, and there's a Facebook group link below. Lots of information below. Always check the description for information. Um, as well as there is a list of the themes for the next, the rest of the year in there. Um, next month is wearables. June is wearables. So do you think, let me know, let me know in the comments because I seriously want to know if I make something for my cat, and I will try to put a picture of the cat here. It's a decoration. 
if I put make something for the cat to wear, does that count as a wearable? Anyway, um, cause I had, cause I have thought of a thing to make for what Lori the Yarn Chef is doing for the Mystery Yarn Challenge. This next month in June, she's doing things a little different because she needed a break from all the craziness of people not getting their packages in May. Um, some pretty insane things happened with the post office last month, so, or this last month. We're still in May. It's still May. Anyway, um, so if you haven't figured out what Lori's doing, go check it out. There's definitely time to join it. It is going to be a very different and fun month this next week. And I have an idea, and I think it would be really fun to double dip and make a cat wearable. And, um, yeah, but I have some other ideas if that doesn't work. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm doing. I might just pull out some of my things. I mean, I'm still working on a shawl. I could just count my shawl as wearable, right? My Vortex shawl that is a circle. It's getting bigger. I could count that. <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. Remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be, and we'll see you next time. Bye!